him to touch them. The disciples turned them away. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is to, it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. I tell you solemnly, anyone who does not welcome the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. Then he put his arms around them, laid his hands on them, and gave them his blessing. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So there we see how the tradition of the church began and copied what Jesus himself had done. He welcomed children, even though some of his own friends, some of the apostles, wanted to push them away. And he said, no, let the little children come to me, for the kingdom of God belongs to them, most of all. Because they are little, and they are vulnerable, and the people I have come from. to have some prayers and then one of the first anointings. Prayers and on all the baptized. By the mystery of your death and resurrection, bid this child in light, give him the new life of baptism and welcome him to your old church. Lord, 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 Lord gracious to hear us. Through baptism and confirmation, make him your faithful follower and a witness to your gospel. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. Lead him by a holy life to the joys of God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. Make the lives of his parents and godparents examples of faith to inspire this child. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious to hear us. Keep his family always in your love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Renew the grace of our baptism in each one of us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And now we invoke the help of the saints. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, pray for us. Saint John and Saint James, pray for us. Saint Margaret Hitherow, pray for us. And all the York martyrs, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. We anoint you with the oil of salvation in the name of Christ our Saviour. May he strengthen you with his power, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
Bless this water in which you will be baptized. We ask this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Now when a person is baptized it means they should have said goodbye to sin and the habit of sin, all personal sin, and to dedicate their life totally to God with all that that means. You know, if you're struggling, when people fall and fail, and they get up again and uh, carry on the journey. And so we are going to make a promise now, all baptized people here, we're going to renounce sin and profess our faith. It's a special moment where we pro proclaim our faith publicly before the baptism. So I'll ask some questions, and if you feel you can answer them, then the answer is, I do. Dear parents and godparents and all your friends gathered here today, you have come here to present Jack Lawrence for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practice of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which Jack Lawrence is about to be baptized. And now come the questions. Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now one final question for the parents and godparents before the baptism. Is it your way that Jack Lawrence should be baptized in the faith of the church which we have all professed in you? And now we come to the central moment. Day in, day out, 
in season and out of season. And the king is meant to be a servant king, somebody who touches lepers, washes feet, does servant things. So that is what the baptized person is born to do. God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ has freed you from sin and given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and welcomes you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation as Christ was anointed priest, prophet and king so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Children. May he bless Megan, the mother of this 
child. She thanks God for the gift of Jack. May she be one with him in thanking him forever in heaven, in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now for David. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless Dave, the father of this child, Jack. He and Megan will be the first teachers of their child in ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And now a blessing for everyone here who has come along to join in the celebration today. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessing upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace upon all who are gathered here in Christ Jesus our Lord. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. And now we're, uh, I think the first thing we should do is give our new member a big welcome.
uh, of a pie like the 50s. Um, and uh, no one's in charge of, of sorting him out. And uh, Jack as well, he's, he's such a happy little boy. He's um, had one or two issues with his tummy, but uh, even today when he was going to sleep, he was crying, he was smiling through his uh, kind of tears at me. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Karen again. Uh, Keep turning up at these events, Karen. It's great to see you. Thank you. And uh, we celebrated the wedding and, and both Christians with us now. So that's indeed. So uh, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, um, and really, just officially open the buffet. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you for the gifts as well. Yeah. yeah, there you go. All right. Knock yourself out. All right. Let's get Noah some food. Is that all right? Yeah.